Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video I'm going to talk about how you fix your FR Sky transmitter or your jumper TX transmitter because in the last couple of days and some people are already affected by this and other people will be affected over the coming days weeks there is an automatic Windows update that's come out to LibUSB and basically it causes all FR Sky or jumper transmitters to no longer function correctly with any SIM, not just Velostrome, but any SIM. It just completely breaks the connectivity between the transmitter and the PC. So once this update is applied, what you'll see is that you've still got an FR Sky Trinus joystick here, but if you go into it to game controller settings and you look, you'll see that there's no controller. Normally it tells you the controller and status OK, but there isn't one. There's no properties button, so you can't get into the properties. And if you go into advanced, you can't see any device here either. So it looks like it's working, but in fact, it's completely non-functional. And the reason it's completely non-functional is once LibUSB has been updated, it gets installed as the default driver for FR Sky um, or jumper transmitters, and it's the wrong driver for those devices. So how do you fix this? Well, you basically need to do it through Device Manager. So if you type Control Panel down here, you'll get the Control Panel. You go to Hardware and Sound, then you go to Device Manager. And then if you look in Device Manager, what you'll see is there is this LibUSB Win32 Devices new device here, and Better USB HS. Now this is actually the Tyrannus. So what we need to do is we need to click on this, right click, and do update driver. Sorry, not update driver. We need to right click on this and do uh, properties, driver, and then rollback driver. So you click on rollback driver here. It'll then ask you why you want to do it. And I'm going to say the previous version of the driver performed better, and then click yes. And then it will drop you back to the head driver for the Tyrannus. So now what you'll see is that under human interface devices, this is now the Tyrannus USB input device here. And if I now go back here and go to, oops, come out of there. If I go back here to uh, devices and printers, and here's my FR Sky Tyrannus joystick. If I right click on this and do game controller settings now, you now see that you have a controller with status OK. You can go into properties and you can move your controls around and everything's back to normal. And it will work in the sim again. So that's it, that's how you fix it. Okay, that's it, I'll see you on the next video.